let me tell you guys how I got to this color. So to even get to this color, I had to do a lot. So first of all, my hair is ginger, as we all know, and ginger is not a very common color. So it's not easy to find the color that I need, correct? This is a mix of four different colors, 27, 30, a copper blend, and it's also a mix of this lighter color, which I have no idea what the number is. This is a mixture of orange and 144. When I put them together, they give me exactly my hair color. So I got the two colors together and I'm gonna go ahead and mix them so I kind of show you guys exactly what I did. Well, as you guys know, my hair is bleached. Also, if you haven't watched that video, you should most definitely go check that video. So I went to the beauty supply, I went to the black owned beauty supply store because I was trying to see if she had the color that I needed. And also I wanted to take my mom. It's a lady, she was telling me like mix 27, mix 30, that's your color. I should just trust in my good, but at the end of the day it's okay because we still got to the color. And this is why I just wanted to mix like two colors and call it a day. Cause now it's just doing nothing but getting tangled. Deep down inside, which I was like, that is not my color y'all. That is not orange enough. That was in the same range. So I can't say that. I was like, okay, we'll leave. We left and we ended up going to Jenny's. We had Jenny's, we looking for the hair. Jenny's ain't got it. So I just was kept telling me like, get orange. So I was telling my mom, I was like, I should get the orange. She was like, no, that's too bright. So I'm like, okay, it's too bright. I'm not gonna get the orange. Even though deep down, I know that all I need to do is mix the orange with one of these colors and it'll give me what I need. Then I found a color that was very similar. It was not orange enough. It was better than all the other colors. The only issue was it wasn't in this straight hair. The whole goal was also not to do a lot of blending. And look at me, I've been blending for the past two days. Anyways, the colors we were finding, I'm like, that is not my color. And then my mom was like, that lady was right. So I was like, okay, we can go back to the lady and we go get the hair. Cause I was just gonna get that Jenny's place. Wanted to support a black owned business. So, so we did, we went back to her. I got the 27, I got the 30. So I get home, I'm devastated honestly, because I'm like, dang, this isn't my color. I'm like, do I need to just go back black? I'm like a go getter type of person. I'm a have faith type of person. I'm a determined person. I'm not gonna settle. So I was like, I don't want to put that in my head. I was playing with it. I was playing with the, tw with the 30 and the 27. I'm looking at this 27 and this 30, and I'm just like, bro, if this don't get out of my face, I just know dang well this is not my color. I'm playing with it. I done added some copper to it. I done added this lighter color to it. And it made it a little bit close. It made it a little bit similar. But when I put it to my head, it was too dark. So my mom was like, you want to just go to the, the, uh, their beauty supply store and see what they have. So I was like, yes. I did settle. I was like, I'll go ahead and put that color in my hair for this time. But honestly, next time I'm finding my color. Anyways, I'm going with my gut this time. We should have got orange from the get-go. She ended up getting orange at 144. I'm kind of eager to mix it at this point because I done already did as much as I can to the 27 and the 30. Anyways, if you are in a Denton area, y'all should go book with me. I'll leave my style seat and my book information down below. So going back to the story. So she brings those back and I mix those. At first I was like, okay, the orange is still too bright, but it's still not mixed all the way. So there still may be hope. So I keep mixing and I keep mixing it. That orange that you just saw, that's that was the mixture. I was like, yes, this is more of what I wanted, but it's still too orangey. So I was like, uh, it's, it can pass, but it's not perfect. I wasn't gonna mix these two colors at first. I was just gonna use the brown and just try to get away with it. Then in my back of my mind, I was like, I should mix these colors, but I don't want to, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do it and then see what's left over and then mix those and see what happens. So anyways, I'm telling my mom that and she's just like, just mix those two colors. So I get a little bit of each one and I mix it together. And that little piece that y'all saw in the beginning, that was the little mixture that I had made. And as soon as I made that, I was like, yep, that's the color. Hello, bug, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today is gonna be a very, very hectic kind of day. We're doing my hair. Anyways, we're gonna be doing simple stuff. I've already parted my hair, which you guys will see in a minute. I got my gel, handy dandy braid formula gel. I love it. I got my clips. Got my comb. I got my mirror. So anyways, you guys, so today's inspired look is gonna be inspired by this lovely picture right here. This is the hair we work with. I done parted my hair off. And honestly, I'm just gonna let you guys watch me. All right, y'all, so I got the first braid down.
right, y'all. So to start, I'm going to be taking a generous amount of gel and I'm going to be putting that on the perimeter of this section that I'm about to braid. Then I am going to comb that gel into my hair, making sure that it doesn't leave any residue because it's all in my head. So then after I comb that out, I'm going to section off the piece that I'm going to use to start the braid with. Now you don't have to necessarily section this out, but because I'm doing like stitch braids, I wanted to make sure to section off that first piece of hair so it kind of make it more easier to go into like you know the stitch braid. so now what i'm going to do after i braided that piece just a tiny bit i'm going to add in the pieces of hair now the trick to this or what i believe the trick to this is when you're doing that first section that piece of hair that you add in needs to be the same as the first section unless depending on how you braid it it's very complicated if you ask me it's very complicated but when you do it for so long, you get the hang of it and you understand how to do it and everything. So it's not that bad. But basically, I'm just going to be adding in hair like every step of the way until I get it to be the size that I want it to be. So I didn't want these to be like no bulky braids or anything. I wanted it to be more on the slimmer side, but still fill out that section kind of um but yeah so i'm just gonna add in hair get it making sure i get the tangles out if you guys do want to do an in-depth tutorial on like how i braid but there's like a plethora of videos out there on how to braid like braiding is like one-on-one -on -one. like you you know like everybody should you should be able to find a video on how to braid your hair because they're basically everywhere but if you don't and you want me to show you i got you i got you big time okay but yeah so i'm just gonna keep adding that hair in until i get to the end and then the other the important part is when you get down to the bottom make sure that you're looking down or i'm gonna make sure that i'm looking down while i'm braiding that part so that it doesn't hurt as much <sighs> okay y'all i'm done with my hair well i'm kind of done i'm gonna do the last finishing touches with you guys I know y'all probably like, why she got this mask on? Is it focusing? I don't know. Point is, I just did my nails. So, all right. So I need to mousse my hair, spritz my hair, and then put these buns back into place. So what I'm gonna do, I actually have this big mirror I'm gonna use because I don't wanna take that mirror off of the door. We got the cream of nature mousse. Also, I did my edges off camera. I'm not the type of person who likes to do a lot of edges. I only like to do what I have because it's going to naturally start coming out of the braid. So I just, yeah. If y'all want to like a more in-depth tutorial where I literally explain like how I do it myself. Because it's not an easy process. I'm also going to put it on this as well. Then I'm about to spritz my hair. You can you do got to be. I prefer spritz just because got to be gets super, super sticky. And I know y'all see my freaking black already growing in. Like, mind you, I've only had my hair out for like three weeks. This is going to be interesting. But this is so cute to me. Now let's try to do these buns. You know what I mean? And then also I have to make sure that I'm looking down. That is really the most important part is when you're doing like the back of your hair look down bro like just look down that's the button i wanted when i'm doing my client's hair i always ask them to look down while i'm braiding the back because it's gonna hurt and i don't want it to hurt super badly so i asked them to look down i was gonna put some bobby pins in this but i don't think it needs bobby pins and see then we pull it up like that it don't hurt and that is exactly what your girl wanted yeah so let me give you guys a 360 And you girls know this done. So technically, this is a maintenance vlog. Okay, I'm about to close this video. But the thing that I'm really the most proud about is how the color came out. Like, this is exactly the color that's in my head. Y'all don't understand the struggle. Like, I was on the merge of crime, but I was like, but God. But God. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. I was going to record me doing my nails and make it a whole nother video. But honestly, by the time y'all even get to see this video, it's going to be time for me to do my next set. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and or that it helped you out. If you plan on doing your hair yourself or you really just need inspiration on what to do to your head or anything of that nature. Also, if you got a big head and you want a little boost of confidence and like, oh my God, I'm self-conscious about my hair. Girl, you better let that forehead pop. You better let it pop. Because <laughs> it's yours. Own it. It's yours. 
it ain't going nowhere. It's yours, so only. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I really, really do hope to catch you in the next video.